everybody. Thank you so much for being here today. My name is Charlotte. I'm the owner of Lottie Lux LLC and also Venus Conjure, where we do readings, Reiki, and rituals. So today I'm going to be doing a psychic reading of Joseph Morgan. Uh, he's most well known for his reoccurring uh, scene. No, not reoccurring scene. His reoccurring uh, character on Vampire Diaries and his own uh, show as the main character in the originals. So we're going to be doing a psychic reading on him. I'm probably going to try and do all the main characters of the Vampire Diaries and the originals. So if you guys are interested in seeing that, comment below before I get started. I'm trying to do more of these videos. <laughs> Alright, so I'm already looking at a photo of him. I'm going to invoke some angels to get a deeper story because I am seeing that this person is a little bit closed off. What that means is that he does not exactly uh, wear his heart on his sleeve. And um, he... I, I just feel like this person is very well in control of their emotions. So for that reason alone, I'm going to just ask the angels to help me further continue this reading for Joseph Morgan. Okay, I'm debating whether I get my intuition oil. I think I could do it without it though. All right guys, so I am seeing that there is some childhood stuff here. Uh, you know, I'm getting that there are possibly some childhood trauma or some type of neglect he's i'm not really seeing exactly what this is but it is giving me uh an energy that this person as a possible teen or adolescent did go through some depression in an aspect of his life uh, i am getting some sadness from him but i do feel like overall this person is quite bubbly and they try and hide this from their loved ones and their significant others. Yeah, he's coming through as the emperor. I, I just pulled a few cards for him. Uh, so he is coming through as the emperor and I am seeing that within his energy. He uh, is very structured. He, you know, likes authority. He likes control, discipline. Um, this person thrives on having a family that is in order and a family that is uh, basically thriving in their lives. I could see him being kind of like a hard-ass dad, meaning that making their kids study all the time or making their kids work at a young age. Okay. Also, this person has a lot of dreams. I'm getting like a big Aries energy. I don't know what his zodiac sign is, but he could have like a moon in Leo or a moon in Aries or a sun in Aries, something here. Um, but I'm getting a lot of fire. Trust me, like I know a lot of fire. I'm a double, what am I, a double fire sign? Yeah. Meaning that like one of my sun, uh, sun, moon, and rising, no, what is it? My moon and sun are both fire, I think. No, my moon and the sun, my sun and the sending are both fire. Yeah, he's definitely very dedicated to his dreams, dedicated to doing what he wants for a living. Okay, be in a process of his life where he is making investments, so he doesn't have to work for the rest of his life. I'm I'm getting an energy that he really wants to build generational wealth for his kids, so they don't have to work as hard. Okay, um, and also. I don't know if he has kids, but there there's a lot of um, uh, messages coming through about needing authority over family. So I am going to assume that he has children, okay? This person does make quick decisions, impulsive. I'm getting Leo energy. I'm getting like, yeah, I'm getting big like Aries Leo energy. I don't know. Should I just check up his Zodiac? I'll do it later. Um... This person, uh, if something does not serve him, he will move on from it. He will lose interest in it. Uh, I don't see him sticking around for anything that he feels would be a failure or a waste of time. This person picks and chooses, picks and chooses his battles. Okay, so I don't feel like he wastes time being in the wrong place of his life. All right, let's talk about love for a second. See what's up with his love life. 
I also want to uh, let you guys know that this person, even though they are very stable, very strong in their emotions, they are not exactly intuitively as strong. Um, I mean, usually when I'm reading somebody who is very emotionally stable, they will be able to kind of sense that I'm reading them. He doesn't sense that at all. He's very practical and from the, from what I could see with him, he is blocked off to his uh, more intuitive side because of it. It's not as balanced and doesn't have as much strength as his practical side. Okay, so I also see that he is married to an, another actress named Persia White. Him and Persia don't have any biological children together, but he did adopt uh, Persia White's daughter, I believe, or child, after they ended up getting married. Okay, so I'm looking at a picture of Joseph Morgan and Persia White. I do see that he is definitely more head of the household, super manly, um, dominant person in this relationship, whereas with Persia, I'm getting a more homemaker energy. I do feel like she handles things for him behind the scenes that we may not know about. I do feel like she was a big part in Joseph Morgan's uh, success with his new show. Well, not his new show anymore. His old show, the spinoff of The Vampire Diaries. I feel like she helped him with that in more than one way. I'm also hearing that she, yeah, I'm just getting like a big earth sign energy from her. Possible earth sign, sun, moon, arising. I do feel like this person is very confident as well. Now, I personally don't feel like these two are necessarily soulmates. I do think that there is a, a mediocre sense of attraction between these two people. I'm sorry, I'm just going to call it how I see it. I don't feel like these two will be together forever. Like, you know, I'm just not getting it. I'm not getting all the passion and love there. I just feel like right now their relationship is... It's almost like a business deal alongside of they're comfortable together. Yeah, we're... I do feel like they, they are going to break up eventually. Their, their relationship has come to a, a stale end or it's just getting stale within it. I feel like Joseph is staying because he likes practicality. He likes structure. And as long as there's structure and there's stability in a relationship, he's not going to leave. I, I kind of feel the same way about her, but I do feel like it's him that is going to be the one that's leaving. Okay? I see that with time she's not going to be able to get him out of his depression and she's not going to be able to help him get himself out of his head i do feel like he was meant to be with a soulmate in this life so i don't i do see them getting a divorce eventually it could come out of nowhere we could see them very happy together one day and then all of a sudden they are divorced like the next day i'm, I'm hearing it could just take one good fight for them to end it and that to be it now, that's a little confusing uh, because Joseph did adopt her daughter, so I don't know what would happen with that. Yeah, he's coming up as the emperor. I do feel like he is going to still be in uh, his adopted daughter's life. He's not going to necessarily leave her, but I do feel like he is kind of in the point of his life where his depression and his withdrawal and apathy is getting the better of him and for that reason i feel like they may divorce they may break up separation or we may just see him uh not take her to appearances or something i i don't see that this is going to work out long term i feel like he is meant to be with a soulmate you know since i <laughs> since i keep Telling, since I keep doing these readings and I always see that there are somebody else waiting in line for these people, I'm just going to see who is Joseph Morgan meant to be with.
the truth is he's very discontent in his relationship and he also he, he also in the past has been discontent with other relationships he's a hard uh puppy to please but he relies on his strength to keep things in check with his family he does want freedom he does want lack of commitment and a new beginning I do feel like he is the type of person that will remarry. He's not going to just keep somebody on leash and not marry them. I feel like he is going to remarry eventually. But whoever is going to date him after this woman, they are going to need patience with getting married to him because he's not going to propose right away to the next person. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this reading. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Alright, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys would like a reading of your own, everything is in the description below. Okay, bye!